I would not steer you wrong, girl. If you ready to have that baby, watch this whole video. Hi everybody, it's Lee Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be telling y'all how I made myself go into labor. Basically how I induced my labor. I'm gonna eat too, so kind of a mukbang. And this time I'm not pregnant like last time where I was, you know. Oh my God. I feel like I'm about to throw up, y'all. I can't believe that it just happened. And the baby is here. He's sleepy, so the sisters have to give him a chance to nap quietly. Yeah, fall asleep to mommy's voice, and they turned on this little thing. So I'm gonna talk a little low, but also let him hear my voice so he can fall asleep. I'm eating Dijon, Haitian rice, and um, Dusbanan. Some different things. Mm. Oh my He loves to sleep with his face like covered up. So, how I induce labor. Let's talk about the first thing I do. Usually when I'm about 36 weeks, after 36 weeks, I'm done with being pregnant. At this point, I start to try and walk more often. Honestly, with him, I didn't. I was more so in the house, but with the other kids I did, I would always start walking and doing squats, prenatal squats around 36 weeks up until 40 weeks, full term. So um, 36 weeks, it was really hard. Like I was barely sleeping the last weeks of my pregnancy. Doing a little stretching first, 38 weeks, I was really tired. I started to cry. Um, <laughs> it was getting bad. Like I was really ready to have the baby. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to start preparing and doing what I do <laughs> to have my baby. I'm about to start this this process. Mm, rice. I was like, I'm about to start. So what I did was the first thing I do on the day of this is when you're ready to start labor. First, I before the labor day, I walk and I stretch and I do these prenatal squats. This works every time when I'm ready to have my babies. All four of them have came and um, been born due to me doing this every time. So basically, I chose their birthdays, kinda. First thing I like to do the day before is have a long walk. Um, just walking around your neighborhood. It doesn't have to be anything big. But walking hard, you know, making yourself, you know, a little contract, a little. Um, I took a long walk the day before. The next day, I also did another one, but we were walking around. We went to the mall, uh, we ate and all that stuff, but I was walking hard. Like I was walking as if I wasn't even pregnant. The second thing I like to do early, I like to eat. Or if it's at night, you know, and I'm starting labor in the middle of the morning type thing, I like to eat a big meal that night so that I'm not hungry when I start going into labor. You want to eat a good bit of food, get full, you know, before you get to the hospital. Try to do it like hours before because when you start contracting a lot, you you don't want to be... Um... Okay, this, this, this is how I'm explaining it. So say you're ready to like start having the baby at night you know like in the hospital and it's like bad like at this point like at night it's gonna be time to push and stuff okay you want to eat early that morning so let's say you was um having your baby you you probably were gonna be um predicted to push around like 10 11 30 at night okay you want to eat something by like 12, 11, 10 in the morning, 12 noon, like around that time, be full. Because around the evening time, your contractions should be close and hard at this point, okay? When we get to that point. 
So the first thing, eat. Eat a good meal the night before. Um, get full. Make sure you eat a good bit of food. The second thing, you need to take a relaxing bath. I always meditate and take a hot bath. Like, I'm, I'm talking like a hot bath. Like, I'm not talking about no cool bath. Hot baths will, they can bring on contractions. So, you know, they tell you don't get in jacuzzis or don't have um, hot baths all the time because they can contract. They can make you, they can put you, they can trigger labor. So they try to tell you not to do that type of stuff because you could make your baby come like too early. So I always take a hot bath. When I'm ready, it's hot. The water is hot. I put bubbles. Um, you can put some little scent in there if you want to really relax. I just get hot water and bubbles and I get in the tub and I literally meditate and I picture myself having my baby. I relax my mind and I picture myself with my, I picture my cervix just opening up for my baby to come out and be with me skin to skin, just me and my newborn baby that I'm about to meet for the very first time. I do that and I sit in the tub until the water is not hot anymore. So I'm literally, I sweat, I get hot in there. And then if you want, you get out and then you take a shower or if you have the, I don't know, some people have that where you can drop the, um, you can hold your shower head and take a bath really quick and get out. Take your bath and everything, get out. And then the next step, the third step, you're going to need a pineapple. And I'm not talking about pineapples that are cut already. I'm talking about a fresh, uncut, ripe pineapple one of these get a pineapple and make sure it's a good pineapple make sure it got a lot of acid in it like it looks green and yellow like greenish yellow more more a little green and on than the yellow side because the yellow is like really ready and sweet it doesn't have as much acid to make you contract pineapples so you're going to need a pineapple that um has a core like a fresh pineapple the core in particular contains an enzyme called bromelian which is commonly used as a meat tenderizer the popular theory is somehow the bromelian from the pineapple makes its way to your cervix and causes the breakdown of tissue there causing the cervix to soften and stimulating labor now i learned this about pineapples about eight years ago when I was pregnant with my first daughter um, pineapples the acid inside of it I knew that it could trigger labor like it could cause you to cramp up and start you know labor when I first found out about it I knew for sure where I was gonna get my pineapple so I would get my pineapple um, I'll cut off the outside and then I'll cut the pineapple the entire pineapple up and um, cut out the core and get like to the core like most of the i would eat a good bit of the core too like some of it like i wouldn't eat the exact middle but around it like towards that area i would eat a lot of that to stimulate me um that definitely works like my stomach would already cramp i definitely did that all of this that night and the last thing i definitely always do when it's time is have sex okay it's the spicy part okay so when you're having sex um of course you're not able to you know do it how you want to do it because you're big and you're not as flimsy as you used to be before the big belly so you have to find your comfortable space how you want to do it how you guys are comfortable doing it at the time and um, make sure that it's a comfortable position for you. So at this point, you need to try to reach a climax. You both need to uh, make each other feel really good, you know. And you both need to orgasm. Orgasming, or when you have your orgasm, it helps to... I'm not really sure how to explain this part. I just know what it does to my body. Um, so... When it comes to this part, you definitely need to be um, a clear mind. You know, when you're doing that, you're making love. You're already supposed to be feeling good. 
So when you climax, you need to relax and you need to be on your back when it's when you're at the end of your finishing. Um, and he needs to come inside of you. And he needs to come in the back. Like how y'all made that baby. He needs to do that in the back. Like he needs to put that all the way in and finish right there. Hole in the score, ball in the court. Okay? He needs to finish right there. And you need to place a big type of pillow, like a really fat like pillow or just two, three pillows underneath your hips and lift your body up. Like you need to be elevated up so that the cum can go to your cervix and soften it up and it will trigger labor and contractions very hard so it could if you do this in the middle of the night like late at night you're going to be starting to feel your um labor pains in the middle of the morning and you're going to be going in labor like probably in your sleep and you're going to be cramping okay and it feels like period cramps when you feel that honey it's about time to have a baby okay all of these things need to be done within the same day so the number one thing, a long walk, walk down the street, um, at least back and forth for like 45 minutes. Like I'm talking a long walk because it does get painful. Number two, eat a big meal, go to a buffet or um, not right now because we quarantining. Coronavirus, that don't go outside right now. Eat a big, cook a big meal at home if you're new right now. Cook some food, eat a good bit of food before you go to the hospital because they are not going to feed you. Only thing you're going to be able to eat is ice chips. And those, they don't help. I mean, it makes you feel like you're eating, but I mean, it doesn't help. But that's the only thing you will be allowed to eat. Number three is your um, meditation, your relaxing hot bath. Be sure to take a bath. Don't get out until the water is like cooling down and you don't feel as hot anymore. Make sure you turn it side to side in the tub. Get your belly in there. Get the baby moving around. It um, definitely helps. Do that hot bath. Number four, get you a ripe pineapple. And you need to cut it up good and eat most of it. Some people have an allergy and can't have a pineapple. So... You don't need to eat a fruit, but eat some type of fruit, whatever fruits that you can eat. Try to put some acid in your body to trigger, you know. I don't know. It's pineapple. What's in the pineapple that helps. So try to do that. But if you can't, then just do the other steps without the pineapple. But it'll help, you know, to trigger it, like for real. And then number five, the last, very last step, six. You don't have to. I know not everybody can do that. You know, not everybody is with the person that they made a child with or the significant other. They're not living together, so they're not able to. Or they're just not together and they're just having a, the baby. So they're not able to have sex with the partner they don't want to or they're just, they just didn't expect to get pregnant by them. If you're not able to do step five, you don't have to do it. With all the other steps, it can definitely work. If it doesn't work, the last thing I definitely recommend is to go see your doctor. Let them know that you are in pain, you need to be checked, and your back hurts. You need to be seen. And at this point, you can't take it anymore. And you need to know how far you are if you're dilating. Because at this point, your JJ it does hurt. And you need to be seen. Let them check you. Most likely, they will offer a membrane sweep. Now, when you get your membrane sweeped, it definitely will trigger labor it doesn't always put you in labor and you go have the baby but it will help the process if you are already in labor if you've done these steps and your labor is going slow getting your membrane sweep will speed it up okay it will definitely speed up the process if you see your doctor in time um before they close of course and you will have that baby at night I recommend, I strongly, strongly recommend if um, you're not able to do all the steps to just see your doctor, let them know what's going on. Because I know how it feels when you just can't take it anymore. It's not easy for us women being pregnant. You know, it, it's hard to carry a baby for literally the entire year. You know, we are pregnant. When we get pregnant, we are pregnant for 
basically 10 months when you really count. That's the whole year. Only two more months and the year is over. So it's really hard to do that. And you know, and you have to keep a clear mind. You have to stay positive. But it's not easy, you know, because it's like, oh, I'm tired. My back hurts. Your feet hurt. Or your ankles are swollen. Having a lot of vajayjay pain. You can't sleep at night. It's just a lot that bothers you. So I know what it's like. And if you really feel like you can't do it anymore, just talk to your doctor and see what they let you know that what options you have as far as trying to, uh, if you're able to get your labor induced. I personally, I went um, full term with all of my children. Even 39 weeks is full term. So you don't always have to go full 40 weeks. It, um, some people have their baby at 37 weeks, 36 weeks, 30, I mean, 36 weeks sometimes. I mean, I mean, it happens at any amount of time. There's a lot of premature babies too. But um, I, all three of them, I went 40 weeks. I always went, you know, the time. But this time, I literally couldn't do it anymore. I don't know why. And I said, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I'm going to have to go in a week early. And I just started my process with everything I just told you. And my baby came. It was a success. I'm happy it happened the way it did. No, if you do have other children, they're not going to be allowed to be in the room with you while you're having the kid. You have to have a babysitter. You have to have somebody who can keep your other kids or kid while you have your new baby. So you got to get that figured out ahead of time so you'll know what your plans are going to be. Um, have your diaper bag ready. You don't really need too much in the diaper bag. Definitely bring your baby's outfit, what they're going to wear in the hospital. Because after the baby has their first bath, when they come out, they get them dressed so they're warm. Um, so make sure you bring your baby's outfits clean and washed, blankets clean and washed. And um, other than that, get ready to enjoy your baby after you do what I just told you in this video. I assure you, everyone I've told to do this, it has worked for. They have done it. They did it and it works for them. So I would not steer you wrong, girl. If you're ready to have that baby, watch this whole video and definitely comment down below if it worked for you make sure you're drinking water ladies make sure you're drinking water that's what my mom and my husband always had to tell me when i'm pregnant drink this water drink this water water really helps once the baby starts stimulating and sucking on you after about three or four days after you've had the baby your boobs are gonna be so engorged with milk oh my goodness you're gonna be so ready i hope you all enjoyed this video um i really didn't eat my food i mainly was just talking Thank you all so much for tuning into this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, all of my new moms, all my new subscribers, comment down below how far you are, when is your due date, and what you're having. Let's all connect. And congratulations on your pregnancy. Congratulations on giving birth soon. I'm giving you the first congratulations on your birth. I'm excited for you, and I wish you all the best of luck once you try this, because girl, You'll be ready to push. Okay, you're going to be ready to push. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye.